today I'm going to be talking about SIP. What is SIP? How can SIP help you and your organisation? If we take a telephone system in its most basic form, or a site, let's say they have a telephone system in London, and one in Manchester, and perhaps one in New York. Now, using the traditional model of ISDN or analog lines, the provider would need to ensure that there were enough lines going to each of these locations, to different providers, so that they could talk to each other. Even though a single organisation is running across these app offices, you have to have multiple telephone lines, multiple numbers, and you have to ensure that you have enough capacity going to each of these sites separately to ensure that everybody across those sites is able to make a call. This model, albeit successful, it's worked for many years, is also very inefficient, it's very expensive because every single line going to every single site is a physical piece of cable in the olden model using ISDN. What SIP does is it eradicates this because it allows us as organisations to think of our telephony infrastructure as a single entity. We are a single organisation, our comms should operate across our organisation seamlessly. So, other than um, this system, we can replace these ISDN lines with SIP trunks. SIP is a way of sending calls across a normal network um, in the same way as you would send web traffic across a network, but it allows us to link telephone systems or handsets or anything that talks um, via a network to a common location. The advantage of that is that we can provide a set of trunks that go into an organisation as opposed to a multiple um, set of trunks going into each location. So a single aggregated SIP trunk can go into a single organisation and allow the flexibility of how that call should ring across different time zones, across uh, different capacity bearings. Um, all of these advantages can be delivered with SIP, but they'll be traditionally very, very difficult with ISDN. Similarly, in an ISDN model, if you have a failure on a single circuit, for example, um, if a, uh, a workman drills through your cable, you will have a problem delivering voice service over that, pro that cable. Uh, and you would have to phone up your provider, you would have to ensure that they divert the numbers, which can be a very lengthy process. In the world of SIP, it's an IP connection. So as long as you can get another IP connection um, to your provider, or you can bounce your IP connections to any of your telephone systems, you can dynamically and immediately divert your calls without the uh, hassle of having to speak to your provider to do, that, do so. In addition, we can provide multiple locations for every call. So should a first location fail, you, you may want it to go and fall over to your second location, perhaps in New York. Um, or again, you can put dynamic rules against SIP delivery. Um, perhaps calls uh, at night time you want to go to New York, and perhaps in the daytime you want to go to London. SIP is driving telephony infrastructures now. It's already in um, driving the mobile networks. It's been around for many years. We've been de uh, delivering SIP trunks for over eight years. And as a result of that, um, infrastructures are changing because SIP drives real benefits into organisations.